Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors, I'm Erica. And on today's video, we're going to be doing a flip through and review of this beautiful book that I got on Amazon. Um, it's called Time Traveler. Um, but other than that, I can't read it. <laughs> I don't know who the artist is um, and I would love to know. So hopefully if someone out there knows and you can tell me, let me know in the comments, that, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, but yeah, I, I was just going to do a flip through this because I got this on a whim and it ended up being just an absolutely beautiful book. So, um, the book has a nice thick, um, poster board style cover, uh, similar to like what you would find on Johanna Basford or Kirby, Kirby Rosanna's books. It does have a flip out section, which I'm not quite sure what the point of that is, but it's pretty. You get the whole, you get to see all of this lovely artwork on both sides here. Um, so yeah, so that's really pretty. Um, and then, yeah, and then so the images are all sewn and glued together there. Um, the paper is on the thinner side, but it's very good quality paper. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So when you, you've got your, um, I don't think that's the front cover. Nope. It is one of the images featured in the book though. Um, and then you have like the table of contents here. Um, lots of different thumbnails and you can test out your mediums on these pages. Um, and then we get into the book and each of these has beautiful script writing on one side and then a beautiful image on the other. Now, when you also get this book, you get this little pamphlet that comes with it. And this shows the artist's um, renditions of the line drawings. So if you want to match up the picture in here to what's this, so this is the illustration. This one on this side is what you, what the artist did with it. So you could really use that for color inspirations, shading, um, um, like tips on shading, where to put your shading and stuff. The artwork is beautiful. I flipped through this little magazine, I don't know how many times, just looking at the pictures. Um, yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. So yeah, so we start here with this one. She's got a beautiful floral umbrella. Um, this one of a girl and a boy. See, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna kind of refer back to this a little bit, I think, so that we can, I can see kind of what the artwork is supposed to look like. So that's really pretty. And then this next one, oh, that's beautiful. And that's the illustrated version or the colored version. And these pages lay nice and flat. You don't have to fight to keep the book open. That's really handy. Gorgeous. She's standing in a seashell here. It's really pretty. And then it's got this ornate frame around the edges and you can really, you could just use some nice grays, some French grays maybe to get that, to kind of recreate that look. So lovely. Here's one where she's on a bridge. I hope that that's not too glary for you guys. Um, this one with beautiful blossoms and the way they colored this image, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. The white dress, the white flowers, the white background. It would be a little bit harder to get the white background, but you could still, because this is a cream colored paper, you, pr you probably could get that nice white background, either with um, a pencil or, um, I mean, you could always paint it out too, but another way that you could do it is maybe with some um, chalk pastel. I don't know if that would work, but that would be a good, um, thing to try I think. Ooh, that one's pretty. This is like a an Arabian Nights kind of thing. And in this one she's sitting on a book. 
gorgeous. So pretty. Here's the next one, and there's a fan at the bottom here. Look at all the colors they've used. Ugh. And the line work on this is very thin and not really dark, so it would be very easy to cover up. So to get like these magical swirly lines through here, that would be super easy to cover with a Posca pen. Here's your next one. This is kind of reminiscent a little bit of Alice with the clock and the the book. What does that say? Oh, it says Nikki and time travel. So um, maybe this is to do, I don't know if this is from an anime or from, if, if this is just all an artist's vision, but yeah, again, the colors are gorgeous. This one's lovely and they've used lots of red and white for that one. It's kind of hard to turn two, <laughs> two pages at once. Um, so here's the next one. And this one is another one where they've taken a darker approach to that. Oh, so pretty. This one was one of my favorites. I really enjoyed this one. There's several in here that are like that, that, it, you know, some that are sweet and then some that are really intense and there's um, fighting or different things like that in it. This one is really cute up here and then you see that she's sitting on top of like a pile of bones and it gets really creepy really fast. And there's the artist's rendition of that. I love the dark, like the black trees in the background and the dark atmosphere and then you just got this really pretty little girl here, but she's very creepy. Bones on her shoes and coming up her legs and then there's bones along the wings and then on the spines of the dress. Oh, and there's like a tail coming out right here. Ugh, so cool. I love it. And then this one's kind of another one that's a little bit creepy. It's got a little doll and their dress is all torn up and then there's the and then these, so on here, there's no faces, but um, these little fire shapes are like, they kind of look like little spirits. I don't know if you can see right there. Um, yeah, that's really cool. Um, this one's neat. There's the colored image. I love the scroll. And it does have the writing on it so that you could just black that out. beautiful image and then you see this look at that so gorgeous this one's really really cool and I love the glowing effect that's in here on her and the it's so neat I love it this is another gentleman here and Beautiful. This one's really pretty too. I didn't understand what some of this was at first until I looked at the image and then it made a lot more sense. She's looking up at the bird and walking along some kind of, I don't know, gorgeousness. Here's one that's pretty sweet. This one is really cool too, the way the artist did it. And here's the queen. Beautiful. Those aren't in the um, artwork, the original artwork, but I can see those. Like if you went with like the red and gold, this would be really pretty with, with um, red with gold um, detailing on there. Uh, 
Um, the thing that I like the most about, well, not the most, but one of the things that I like about having this artwork is that you can see that even though this is reading as like a white, you can really, you just change the tone of the shadow a little bit and you can make it pink. So for example, between these two, so this one's more pink and this one's more blue, but they're both white dresses. So that's really cool. Here's the, here's that one. And it's like that several times. Oh, and here's another example of that. So this one is more gray. And then the next one, a cute little one, and this is reads it's more like beige and stuff, but it's still very light and white. So it's it's it was just interesting to me to see the different ways that you could recreate those colors. This is like a um, nine tails character. I love the and the. The cherry blossoms aren't on here, but those would be super easy to draw on if you wanted to recreate that. Beautiful, beautiful. I really like this one with all the little bunnies and then this giant bunny. I have a, um, a manga coloring book that's similar to that where there's a one big giant animal, a nice character, and then lots of tiny little, little guys everywhere. This one... I think is my favorite image in the book. I don't know why. It's just gorgeous. And when you see, <laughs> look at that. I mean, come on. And if I can recreate even something similar to that, I will be just ecstatic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's breathtaking. And I would love to be able to recreate that if I can. I love these cranes in the background. And it has like the different um, strokes of, I don't know, whatever he's drawing, symbols. The only thing that it does not have are these symbols in the background here to put on the screen. But I could probably do my best estimate on those. So yeah, really love that one. Here's this one. It's really sweet. That one's really sweet. Oh, this one doesn't have the fish. They just added a fish in here. Oh. Here's this one with the birds. Here's another one where it's a little bit of green added into some of the shadows and it changes the tone again. And I like how the birds are all different colors. That's really pretty. And she's just kind of neutral. This is another good image. I really liked this one too. And the way that they used the colors. Beautiful. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the artwork itself is beautiful, but when you see these images colored in the way that they've done this. So in this one, you don't have the dragon ghost in the background. Um, and I don't know if I would be um, ambitious enough to get all that done, but the rest of it's so pretty. Yeah, this one's really cool. It was kind of like a, she's got like, She's kind of like a uh, demon, I guess, maybe, because she's got a tail and wings. Yeah, really cool. This one has got all kinds of little foxes everywhere. They're all dressed up down here. This one was another one that I thought was really cool. It's like a crystal dragon in the background. Keep saying this this one was cool this one was cool this one was cool as well and then this is the last image and it's the one from the front cover yeah um, and then on the back you have a little flap so you do want to open that up when you color so that you don't get a weird line down your 
um, down your page. But yeah, so there it is. This is Time Traveler. And, you know, if I do find the um, artist before I post this, I will put it on screen and definitely make sure to mention it in the um, description. And I will also link this book in the description, too. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that flip through and me rambling and <laughs> ooing and eyeing over all the pretty pictures. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for joining me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.